Gina, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kind of Friday Reads for you because it's Friday. I haven't done Friday Reads in ages. And I've got quite a lot of things that I'm currently reading. So really it's more of a things I'm currently reading video, but I'm gonna call it a Friday Reads because yeah. So the first kind of book that I want to talk about is the book that I actually do plan on reading over the weekend and I'm hoping to get it finished. This is me kind of being not really responsible, I guess responsible sort of. Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for but to kind of keep myself uh, motivated and on track of actually finishing this book because I really should give it back to the person I'm borrowing it from and I keep telling them that I'm gonna finish it and I keep not finishing it. But that is A House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. I am loving this. This book is amazing. I'm a little over halfway through as you can see. I've been trying to read a bit of it each night before I go to bed so I'm hoping I can find a couple hours this weekend maybe more than a couple hours, I'm a slow reader. But I'm hoping I can finish it this weekend. If not, I should definitely be finishing it next week. Hopefully it is fantastic and amazing. And essentially, without giving too much away, the main plot is that there are 12 sisters on this, in this like, they're all daughters of a duke and one by one the daughters kind of start dying and they think that there is a curse amongst the family because even their mother has died and that's all part of the plot really not giving anything away but one of the daughters the main character of this book Anna Lee kind of starts thinking that something might be up like things start happening and she starts seeing the crazy creepiness of it all and so maybe it's not a curse after all it is very good there have been very many ish like shock factor i don't know if we would really shock factors but things i didn't see coming um there's things that i'm trying to piece together and plan out that i think might happen but then something happens that makes me think maybe it won't happen it's just it's it's good i'm really enjoying this i can't wait to see how it ends uh the other books are all essentially on my currently reading list. I'm just going off Goodreads because I don't have physical copies of most of them. There's one. I am technically currently reading um, The Geek's Guide to Dating, which I started forever ago. I don't even, well, I updated it in June. So I think I was reading this for some kind of readathon at some point. So like, this will be nice and short. And then I stopped reading it. I, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get back to that one, but it is on my currently reading. I do physically own it. Uh, the rest of them are either on my e-reader or audiobooks. So the other book that I am actually actively reading, uh, which is on my Kindle, I tend to take my Kindle to work and read on breaks and lunch because it's just easier with the Kindle and then read physical books at home and then audiobooks like as I'm getting ready or on my drive to and from work or even during the day at work. So the other book that I am physically reading as an ebook is Swipe Right for Murder by Derek Millman. I'm not very far along into this, maybe 18%. Uh, wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because the beginning of the book is essentially this guy on a dating app and then going and potentially hooking up with people and I'm just like what is this uh but then the actual like what I'm assuming is going to be the main plot of the book happens and it grabbed my attention so I'm reading that on my e-reader uh I did get a e-arc of it from NetGalley and then I got super slumpy so I didn't finish it before it came out but I'm enjoying it so far the other books that I am reading are all scratch that. There's one other ebook that I'm currently reading and that is Coral by Sarah Ella. This is another e-galley that I got off NetGalley. I'm also enjoying this one, but I put it aside to read Swipe Right for Murder since that came out before Coral and then again, Slump. So that is still on my list. I'm not very far into that one either, but I am enjoying it. Uh, the other books are all audiobooks. Uh, Blood of Dragons by Robin Hobb. Still chugging my way through it. Uh, these set of books in the Realm of Elderling series is my least favorite. They are the most dragon heavy and I have enjoyed the last couple of the four in this one, but I just really want to get back to Fitz and all of those characters and like the characters that I know and love. And so I just, 
I have like 12 hours left of the audiobook and I just need to get through it and I'm really enjoying the book so it's like it's not even like I'm not enjoying the book I just keep getting distracted by other things. I am also still listening to Good Omens uh, by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. This was a book club book from this book club that I am in on Facebook. I didn't finish it but it's also because I watched the show on Amazon first and I really love the show. The show was fantastic so that's kind of why I'm slow on this one just because like I know what's gonna happen and it's following the book really well or rather the show followed the book so like I'm enjoying it it just again slumpy we've been talking at work I haven't really been listening to things yeah I am also listening to Helter Skelter by Vincent Bogliossi and Kurt Gentry uh, this is the book that tells the story of the Manson murders so yeah that's really all you need to know for that I'm about to drop my phone um I went to go see the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood which is a fictional story and if you've seen it you understand that it's definitely a fictional story but it does kind of hint at the Manson murders and you do see Sharon Tate and it kind of made me want to finally read this book. I've had this book for a while and it's just an interesting book that I've kind of wanted to read but it is also a chunky book uh, so I haven't but I started reading it and then again slump put it down I think I have like 20 some odd hours left in it it's a chunky book but I really like the setup of it it's set in like parts and like part one which is where I'm still at just kind of tells about the murders and it's it's pretty interesting the last set of books that I'm going to be talking about is the Benicula books by James Howe uh, yeah these books are fun i learned about them from a mcelroy brother podcast and actually it wasn't even the brothers it was the um smurl sisters it was their live podcast from podcon this year where they kind of did a ya award show type thing and since it's the two older sisters and the younger sister um they kind of were seeing the differences in like what the audience had to say for who would win between the older generation and the younger generation and they got two best ya series and the two older girls were already older by the time the harry potter books were coming out but the younger one is was a baby when the harry potter books were coming out so technically none of them could claim harry potter so they didn't uh but they also agreed that like harry potter would win so the older girls came up with like babysitters club and you know a couple other things and then i don't remember which of the two but one of them mentioned banicula and i had never heard of banicula so i turned around to my coworker and i was like have you ever heard of the book banicula because she's a little bit older than me so i figured she might know better than i did she's more of their age and she's like yes i love it i have a t-shirt i'll wear it tomorrow so she wears this t-shirt and it's definitely the banicula like book cover shirt and it's awesome she's worn it so many times i just never either looked at it hard enough or if she's told me it was a book series I didn't pay attention I don't know but it it's I got them from overdrive I'm already through book one I am on book two and they're fantastic so those are the other things that I'm currently reading uh hopefully I can get through all seven books they're really short YA well not even YA middle grade books and it's just they're fantastic the first one is great. Essentially, if you don't know what Benicula is, I realize I've been talking about it and haven't mentioned it. Benicula is about a vampire bunny, but he's a cute little bunny. And instead of like drinking human blood or like other animal blood or whatever that you would think from a bunny vampire, uh, he sucks the juice out of fruit or not fruit, vegetables. And it is the cutest story. I love it. I'm on book two. I'm just loving it. But that is what I am currently reading, or rather what's on my currently reading shelf, uh, mixed in with what I plan on reading this weekend for this Friday Reads video. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're reading this weekend. Uh, let me know if anyone's read A House of Salt and Sorrows because it's fantastic and amazing and I'm really enjoying it, like really enjoying it. Also let me know if you've read Benicula because I had never heard of it until recently, which again is a lie because my coworker wears that shirt all the time. But yeah, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.